Bajo. Lucina. Torres.
all good actually. Alright. So it looks like we had lemon and Phantom. I'm almost had some other stuff. Um already game three with a 2-0 lead from Phantom. And so far he's putting in a lot of pressure to Lemon with a lot of mobility. Oh, a nice pin from Lemon. Ooh, takes it and takes it to game four. Good stuff for Lemon for charging that four smash over there in the corner. You rarely see corners do that actually. That's, I kind of find it funny. Um, so FD and Kalos is the bands that I heard Lemon Dan, if I'm not if I'm not correct. Um, Lucina Corrin. This is it. Doesn't look like a fun matchup for Corrin at all. With Lucina's mobility, moving really fast. And Corrin, you know, Corrin has some some juggling confirms, cute little combos that can irritate a lot of people. But um, oh, that's why I was confused. I wasn't yo, cause the names were the other way around. <laughs> but I feel like Lemon. Well, let's fi let's find out actually, cause now that I'm actually here, I can actually see this entire set. But it's but so far it's really looking like in, in Phantom's favor the way how he's playing right now. Oh my god, kind of choked real quick. Wasn't expecting him to go over the ledge. But so far, Lemon, you know, holding it down on center stage. Moving around, throwing in some Batman wings. Ooh, kind of a suck there, but not going to get punished too well. Oh my god, my man tried to go for the wall for smash in neutral. Man, I'm not falling for it at all. And now it's his turn to do the trapping and kills him with an up smash, actually. One of the only Lucinas that actually utilizes up smash from this entire day from what I'm noticing. A lot of Lucinas will actually just, just throw out four smash, which is which kinda what kinda kills earlier. Like at the side, but up smash is a really good move too. And speaking of a good move, that four smash gonna clip through the shield. Ooh, try to get a two frame, which is kind of smart. Almost baiting Phantom out of shield. And no jump. How is he going to land? Ooh, bites him right in the face. And not dead yet. Good DI from Phantom. Oh, my God. It gets away with a roll. And these pins are they're just going all over the place right now. My man trying to find a pin tweet, but it's not, it's not looking right right now. Oh, good read from Phantom, but it's not going to do anything too much yet. Oh my god, he had a read, but didn't he just held it. Probably wanted him to run into it or something like that, so he can get more hits. But at this point, he, Lucina has max rage. And, wow, and he, these missed punishes, and I hope it doesn't really affect Lemon for the rest of this set. Because so far, these missed punishes, and except for that one right there that I just, that I just mentioned, I feel like it might cost Lemon the set if he continues to hesitate on his punishes. Because right now, Phantom is not hesitating at all in his disadvantage. Good forward tilt. Uh, he doesn't run off a counter yet. That would be a good idea, though, at the bottom of the stage. And nice read with the Nair, clipping him to the side. Good. Oh, my God. And Lemon trying to figure out a way how to get off of this corner right here. Runs into it and good punish from Phantom with another up smash coming against Lemon. Alright, try to catch him slipping real quick. Lemon, I mean, oh, Phantom. No, not, not falling for it quite yet. He's, he's playing aggressive, but he's also playing very patient. And at this point, Lemon is just trying to find any type of opening right now, whether a hitbox, a disjoint coming in, and Phantom capitalizing on the SD right there. That was a good effort from Lemon. So Lemon having another chance in losers. 
Boom, and I believe salad dressing is about to play. I'm about to find out right now. Those are compliments at that point. <laughs> yeah, so it's looking like we're going to have Phantom and Salad Dressing facing each other at Winners Finals. <laughs> um, From what I remember, I played Salad Dressing in Smash 4 years ago. I think he's a Mega Man main, if I'm not mistaken. Really clean. Um, He seems to be like a very technical Mega Man, like very patient and neutral. A little similar to King Arc, but... How would I say it? Yeah, I'm just gonna say it's just like a, a, a very similar to King Art. Random. Oh, they probably know each other for a while. They just said, "Screw it, we're gonna do Randy's round one. Find out what's gonna happen." <laughs> and then we got and we got Lucas and Link. My God, Lucas is one of those dudes that like. He gets slept on, but at the same time, like, what schmicks you if you sleep on Lucas a bit too much. Link, he's a pretty good character, but his disadvantage, it ain't worth it like that, to me, honestly. Let's see how, the, how these how this Randy Diddles is going to play out, though. Both of them kind of just throwing moves in a, in a way, feeling each other out at the same time. Oh, let's go with Johnny Bravo. That's right, Lucas looking like Johnny Bravo low-key. Like, I miss the, the mods where they actually make him look like Johnny Bravo and talk like him every time he throws inside B. <laughs> oh, what a punish. A throw? Yeah, that is definitely got to kill. Lucas having, like, two kill throws and, like, a 50-50 throw at the same time. Oh, my God. If he would have let it rip. My man try to catch him slipping. Um, kind of curious to see how they <laughs> how they let's trap and Phantom Patty can go how to get out of there. <laughs> and what a reef of salad dressing. <laughs> Oh my god, Link's near. This is the most scariest move that Link can throw at you. Nair. Like, what do you say to Nair at this point? Lucas is Lucas kind of struggles on getting off the ledge and salad dressing showing Lucas how how much of a, of a pain for him to get out of there. Up to, no, he goes straight up for the up air. My man is just throwing moves out like a roll. <laughs> my god. He don't know if he wanna pick up the bomb or not. <laughs> Oh, good knowledge. Throwing it in fire move to automatically explode the bomb. And what up, B? And barely getting out of that. <laughs> oh, man. What an, I, think, I believe that was an SD from Salad Dressing. But Phantom definitely taking that for free. Nair trains? Nah, he don't got those. But he going to kick him in the face, though. Ooh. We're just throwing feet at each other at this point. He doesn't even pull out a bomb to trap him. My man just want to do everything raw. Yo. Oh, my God. Feet all over the place. Is it going to be the Tims or the Converse? Oh, and the Boomerang cop blocking the combo. <laughs> How do you commentate on, like... Such raw neutral <laughs> and talent dressed in being a homie giving Phantom game one. <laughs> are we going to continue with the Randys or are we going to actually pick mains on each other? Today, you have. <laughs> Apparently, they, they agree to go random. <laughs> so, this is kind of good. This is going to be an interesting set, though. Both players agreeing to just go. Random in this entire set, real quick. Wow, the Toon Link in the Crown. Shout outs to Maddie Matt for the good Toon Link. He's somewhere in bracket, I believe. <laughs> Maddie Matt tried to power up for his set later on. If he manages to get there, 
He already be on top eight at this point. But enough about him. We're going to go right back into this game going on right here. A Chrom in a, in a two link. Well, I find it even more funny that his tag is salad dressing, but he's green. And his hat, the way how a Toon Link's hat moves around kind of reminds me of Cabbage. I don't know why. But regarding that, wow, what a forward smash from this young warrior. And another one trying to just end this man's life right here. Uh, doesn't have no bond. You just want to throw it in his face and run away. Trying to analyze the movement, maybe. We got the dare. Ooh. World combo. Oh, and a nice bomb to get out of that scenario. Oh, but Kron got the better movement and the taunt coming in from Phantom. Is Salad Dressing going to have an answer to this with Kron right here? Looking like he's almost dead. Ooh. Hey, man. Disjoint over disjoint. That forward smash is ridiculous from this little man. But a little range is definitely not going to punish the first one. Ooh. Nah, he ain't gonna do it. He not got it yet. Oh my god. Child abuse coming in. Ooh. Oh my god. And Phantom just dominating that entire second stock right there. He said, this might not, this might not be my main, but I know some Chrome better than Butters. Oh my. He's missed the R down here. <laughs> oh my god. My man Phantom is trying to style on this man on stream. Showing off, I got the better random diddle than you. Oh my god, 82% on Toon Link's final stock. And he's really light right now. I'm wondering how he's going to pull it off as a, as a potential comeback. Ooh, nice forward here. I was about to call him Mr. R again for the sim similar play styles right there. What an interesting road. I never, I'm, I'm not used to a Toon Link like getting a bomb explosion and rolling away. No down there from him at all. You know what's crazy about random doodles is that like you, you... How do I say it? Like when you're playing an actual bracket and you're playing mains and everything like that, you get to analyze and take your time and make a, a, you know, a game plan for the next game coming up. But a random doodle, it's like... How do you <laughs> he try to end this man's career? <laughs> that would have been the clip. That would have been the best encore clip for the week. <laughs> but as I was saying, it's like the, the thing with random doodles is that it's supposed to be funny. And seeing it in bracket is like you, you really cannot counterpick it at all, even in an actual set. So it's like you want to let out all of your cards at this one character and... Phantom taking the game with an up B, throwing all of his moves really raw. Can I get a hashtag raw in a chat? Salad dressing looking a little, a little curious, but which, what's his gamble in this one? Oh, the can. Oh, man. He looking like he not about it. <laughs> Uh-oh. He, he's going to give... He's going to give up the set. Uh-oh. And Phantom being a homie not taking the set away from him. Damn, so I don't care about the bread. I just want to laugh with my boy. And Salad Dressing looking really happy about that. Because <laughs> if it was, I feel like if it was, I feel like if it was any other player, they definitely would have took it in a random diddle. Like, oh crap, this is my worst character. I, I have to try it. Nah, go ahead. I, we can reroll. <laughs> Unless you get a better character. Oh man. Oh. The Palatina Falco match? I knew it, yeah. I, I recognized the name when I saw the green hair. <laughs> oh my god, the double lasers. <laughs> oh my god. And it now, for those of you who don't know Phantom too much, this is actually his original main before like the ages and everything like that. So he's very familiar on how to combo and kill with Palu. 
but the Falco, the Falco looking looking a little rusty right now. It's looking like uncooked chicken right here. Throw some throw some Tims at her. Oh man. Salad dressing had the right idea to reflect it, but the art of article having terrible range right there. Oh, and it pattern bro, he gets away with it. Oh my God, these rolls are crazy. He don't want no hero. <laughs> my man, salad dressing hungry for a roll. And you got a little shimmy coming out for him. One of the first Palos that does it near at 0%. Congratulations. He just did down air into raw fair. You know what's crazy? I barely see Tilde do this matchup now that I think about it. Like, I'm pretty sure and confident that Tilde done, has done this matchup so many times. But I never really, I haven't seen it, like, at all. Not in person, not really too much on stream. Like, Falco's neutral is really bad, to be honest. Like, don't let Tilde fool you thinking, like, Falco a high tier, top tier. Like, you know, he just makes it look easy. And as you see, like, Phantom just chilling, taking his time, not caring at all about what's going on with this chicken. Oh my god, and catches him with the Nairo. I think that was this I think I think I think that was this I think that was the second I think that was the second Nairo combo in a row and fan and salad dressing definitely saying you're not three stalking me with this Paulo. Oh my god and the airplanes it's a bear. Ooh what an air dodge from Salad Dressing and a better parry from Phantom. Obviously getting out the corner. Throwing raw moves, cop blocking the Phantom. And no jump. How are we getting back to the stage? Oh my god, runs away. Ooh. I don't know. These rolls are looking kind of sus right now from Salad Dressing. He's probably analyzing his little his little defensive habits as it goes. Already calling out the spot dodge right there. Ooh. And carries her back to stage and throws out the down smash at the wrong way, actually. Finally gets hit the second way. Oh, this time the down here. Uh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It calls out another roll and was saving it the entire time. Out of the fit. Out of the 15 rolls that this man gave him, he called out the one roll that mattered the most and gives him a free 3-0. Moving on to grand finals, as expected, according to the Encore usuals. But I'm calling it now. Salad Dressing might come back to grands from losers. Might have a decent losers run. And the Mario Kart, actually, Encore's Mario Kart tournament is this Saturday. So if y'all interested in Mario Kart with some fun vibes and a good time, come through this Saturday. You know, y'all might catch some, some red shell combos. And come through on Thursdays, too. Encore on Thursdays is really great. It's a very nice social environment if you're trying to practice your social skills. A good Smash tournament also with a lot of top players going there. And Kingdom, I believe every Tuesday, all the way to Jersey, starting at 7.30. What's this man? Oh, I am so bad. I forgot, I forgot his name that owns it. But we're going to move on to the next page. Gonfinite, yeah. Shout out to Gonfinite. Holding it down in Kingdom and everything. He's a really cool dude, actually. Cool dude, actually. But I forgot Uncle updated the thing into a small battlefield. And go to, uh, go to Zeno's. Tomorrow and Wednesday, starting at, I think, 8 o'clock. I could be wrong, chat. Don't judge me. Xeno is a pretty cool place. I haven't been over there since the pandemic, so it could be a very different environment over there. But it's really good whenever you do get a lot of practice on the popular PGR players. 
And then, yeah, that, that's pretty old at this point. That was? Bro. <laughs> You're going to have the whole chat confused. Like, wait, there's more? I might actually try out the squad strike one day. But it's only on Tuesdays. I always told people that I wanted to try out Squad Strike just because it's really funny and you get to see how many characters each person really has. Maybe one day. Probably next week. And right now it seems to be, I'm going to call, we're probably going to have, let me look at losers. We might have Lemon and Arrow face each other right now. Yeah, I was. Yeah, there we go. Losers quarters. Best of five. We're gonna have Arrow and Lemon. Really? <laughs> so this is just to finish the rest of the set. Oh, uh, shout out to Encore and their funny memes. But we're gonna see. This is my first time seeing the bail. We're gonna find out how good this bail really is. So apparently these two already played at a separate um at a separate set. So we're about to finish it off. Probably checking on controls right now, giving them the SD and Arrow taking it with a three one. Nah, I'm kidding with y'all. It's like two one right now. Arrow's favor. The Corin, Corin Bale. I don't really know. Like, Bale's kind of like hot garbo, but, like, every Bale that wins, it's all because they outplayed you. I kid you not. Either that or you just don't know the Bale matchup at all. So we're going to look at this old Smash 4 matchup and Smash Ultimate. Giving out to Lemon and Arrow. Get out all that hand warming now. Get the stress out because we're about to finish the rest of this set. Finally catch <laughs> Lemon. Shout out to Lemon for finally touching that down there. Oh, what type of Bale combos we got? I'm keeping it simple. Battlefield is actually a really good counter pick. I think Lemon picked it, if I'm not mistaken. I was talking to um, I think I was talking to my boy Tito, and then he was saying, like, yeah, Battlefield is a pretty decent counter pick to Bale because it's. It makes it harder for her to do her bread and butters and comboing, etc. So Bale in this level, I feel like she has to play neutral heavy and with punish. As Arrow's doing right now, it almost gets the roof on Lemon. And the double kick. Oh, it misses the third forward here right now. Lemon being very lucky right now. Not getting hit with the full power right now. And clips him with the side B. Lemon starting off this game with the first stock. Ooh, good patience from Lemon, baiting out the counter. And what's the punish? The juggling combos are happening? Ooh. Okay, now nah, we're not going to juggle too much right now. Wow, that's the... <laughs> what a nice custom combo. You don't see no Bale do that combo. <laughs> Upbeat of bullets? <laughs> Yo, that's funny. All right, forcing him to jump. Doesn't want to air dodge. He doesn't want to give Arrow the air dodge at all, but he's probably analyzing it as we speak. Probably saving it for like a last scenario. And Lemon with max rage at 200%. You don't see no other corn living for this long. And nice patience calling out the spot dodge. Oh, and ew, the sour spot back it. Finally taking the first stock of Lemon. Good DI from the down tilt. Lemon, Lemon seems to be, he, he seems to be very aware of how to play around Bale's combos and DI'ing them correctly. But he's also being a little hesitant on like approaching her. Kind of like a, a bait game right now. Bites her off the stage and catches him with a downer. No, we're just going to give him the stage at this point. And gets comboed for free. Oh, a nice back here from Arrow. Calls out the air dodge. And now, oh. Just because Lemon gave him the stage, it gave him so much momentum right now. Putting him into a reverse scenario and Arrow clipping him with the spike hitbox of that down here. Oh my god. 
This is giving me PDHD. All these bail combos are happening. Ooh. My man tried to hit him with the Doctor Doom with the foot dive. <laughs> Catching him with the double foot dive combo. Nice forward smash. Only 50%. This is not too bad. Lemon can still bring it back. Pushing it to a game five potentially. And this is looking. This might be. A, this, I feel like this might be the hard part for Bale is comboing from like a high percent, mid percent range. Like he has to play like hit and run, poke and run. Maybe chip him with some bullets in neutral. But right now, Arrow is just getting. He's, he he doesn't want to trade at this point. See, because now right now he already. Let me make the game even. Just one, two, three. Oh my God! That giant back air almost catching him right there. But it's like at the same time, corn. This is where corn kind of struggles too. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is gonna kill. Nah, the side B got nerfed from Smash Four. You're not gonna see a kill anytime soon. Oh my God! It kind of reads him right there. Miss base is the job and nice mash from Lemon. 133 and only like three pummels is gonna do it. Oh, he read it, but Lemon one step ahead of him and up here and taking Arrow to game five right now. Taking a huge sigh of relief, like yes, I'm not not going out that fast. Arrow look like he already have a game plan right now. Like crap, like I mean, about to go to game five, about to do it in story right now. Wow, he actually he's, he did he just pick story himself? My man is trying to. He don't even care about the combo at this point. He just want to end this man off the side blast zones right now. And Lemon looking happy, like all right, bet we going to story. I ain't complaining. Putting a smirk in his face. And right now, Lemon, Lemon looking kind of a little comfortable right now. As I say that, he's about to get potential roof. Nah, it's not Smash 4. I forgot. Not from 0% with no rage. And right now, and the winner of this set right here would definitely be playing Cookie King. So he is just chilling at the moment. So the final game right here at this game five. I feel like when Lemon gets hit with the with the bail up E combos, he's not really like smash behind, right? Because right, oh my, I forgot about that buff. The Bale's jab is, is really strong at this patch right now. It's almost as strong as Bowser Jr.'s jab. So, he has to be, he got to be aware of that jab. So, Bale has, a, Bale has another way how to kill somebody now. Instead of, like, relying on just back air or a smash attacks. And nice back within. Going to roof him right here. Oh, and roofs him because of that nice... That was the perfect bet within punish right there, taking him to the very top. As I was saying before, Arrow does not, he seems to not care at all about these Bayo combos, but he's going to give him a nice homie stock right now. He's like, let me know, I roofed you real quick. Uh, let me just give you the stock, all right? So Lemon looking, <laughs> look, gaining a little bit of confidence right now. We're only 32% right now. But Arrow, not if Arrow has something to say about it. Probably can just roof him again, maybe. Or just carries him to the side if he has those combos. Oh my god. Oh, then the Smash GI kick. <gasps> oh, in the second roof. And Arrow shouting out, representing Bale right here. Amarellas, where you at? Ooh. Yo. My man said, don't you. He said, don't you ever take me to story again. My man, I never seen two roofs in one game in my life, bro. But, you know, Lemon had a really good run, though, with just, like, only Corrin by herself. So I got to give it to him. And Arrow moving on to face Cookie King. It um, loses finals. No, I'm sorry. Lo loses semis. I'm bugging out. And Cookie immediately looking like he's ready for this set right here. Looking like he's nothing about business. Look at this. 
he he look nothing but straight business right now, bro. Oh my god. So yeah, we definitely we definitely not New Yorkers right now. We're not starting in P2. We're gonna go town and city instead of Smashville. Good idea. But I kind of heard Smashville, but my man just said town anyway. I guess because they're the same. Like since they both Animal Crossing, he doesn't really care where we go. So this ain't my set. I would have boom. So Pikachu and Bayonetta. Hmm. I've heard this is a very horrible matchup for Bale, so I'm kind of curious to see how Arrow is going to utilize Bale's in neutral. Probably spam back within, I guess, the T Jolt approaches and everything. And, you know, he might give Cookie a hard time when it comes to the edge guards and everything like that. Can go through a lot of Pikachu's hitboxes. Maybe abuse Pikachu's weight with just like a perfectly timed backer. You know, it's. Yeah, now that I think about it, this is, this is like a, a, a horrendous matchup for Bale because I can't even really think how to kill Pikachu properly with this character. Oh, nice falling up here to a whole a whole juicy combo. That's not going to really kill, right? Yeah, Town and City ceiling kind of tall in this game. He'll have to really rely on the side blast zones. But at the same time, this is more of a Pikachu's favor, which is kind of why I ban this stage all the time when I play him because all of those Pikachu near combos and everything and the loop-de-loops is going to carry me to the side and yep the classic Lee Pikachu throwing out forward smash and neutral and praying that you run into it and Arrow not falling for it at all and kills Cookie at the side of the stage taking full advantage of how Town and City is supposed to work right now my man tried it with the Smash 4 bail he definitely he definitely maintained his Smash 4 my man did like double fair and double fair again in neutral Ooh, double. Oh my god! It, he said, I, I, I could trade. You wanna throw buttons on my shield? We gonna go together, homie. Hold up. Alright. Throwing some little Pikachu bread and butters right here. No thunder. I was lying and capping. He actually did through thunder, but doesn't capitalize it off. Alright, nice down to a poke. But gets punished kind of heavily from that. Ooh. Yo, if he was if he was real cool, he would have went for the dare and spiked him. Oh, and Pikachu caught up to her already, and she's and she had like a 10 second head start away from him, and Pikachu still caught up to her. Oh, he I, he still had an up dude. Right now, both of them, oh, and the jab is definitely going to take it and kills him before 110. That is the after hit. So Pikachu had to die around like 105, 100%, bro. That is crazy. That jab buff is ridiculous from Bale. And Cookie looking like he's thinking about life right now with a take of, no, nah, I was lying. Instantly smash, bro. Probably has an idea on why he will go to Smashville. Because he seems very confident when he goes there. Probably wants to seclude you, like stop you from your movement and everything like that. And Pikachu, being the small character as he is, can doesn't really care what stage he plays on because he's too small to hit consistently. So this is this might look like they will go to a game three one up from both of these players. But Arrow Lean very consistent on these hard punishes right here. Already at 80% right now from just one interaction. He tried to he tried to do the bat with him. That's what I was mentioning earlier in the game one. Is that I feel like Bale has to kind of rely on bat with or or counter. Because I, I forgot what the 
Yeah, Witch Time, that's what it's called. Like, she has to rely on Witch Time, excuse me, and Bat Within to kind of have an easier time approaching to Pikachu that throws a lot of T-Jo to neutral. Uh, I thought he was going to forward smash at that percent, but hey, we're just going to take even more damage just to confirm the kill when I do throw a smash attack. Tries to get the air dodge in read with the the bottom tip of thund um, Thunder. Oh, and the multi-hit of Forder caught blocking the forward smash from Bale. Oh, man. Thunder. Nah, we're going to go super high. Oh, my God. And no tech is going to get a punish to 160. And both of them. And I feel like the first person who takes the first stock is definitely going to have a huge momentum in this entire game. It might have the whole set, actually, after that. Oh, and call him slipping with the crazy backwards up here. And, but psh, Cookie instantly taking that back. Not caring at all how he died. Wow, safe enough to get away from the up B of there. I wonder what frame her up B comes out. Oh yeah, now that I think about it, in this matchup, they both can go off stage and edge guard each other. Regardless of who's gonna edge guard first, because we saw we witnessed on that last stock, Arrow caught him slipping and wasn't expecting to attack. But Cookie also can go deep of how good Pikachu really is. And nice bat within avoiding the forwarder to get him off stage. Playing a very careful neutral right now. Nice parry from Arrow. How we're gonna punish? Now we're just gonna back off real quick. The frame data too good. Oh, and yeah, I haven't seen him catch the entire fair combo. Maybe he, I don't know, maybe he just somehow DI'd the fair or Bale having too much rage. And a high percent. But I'm surprised the whole thing didn't hit. Oh, that was the perfect time for Thunder, but he wasn't expecting the no DI mix up. Ooh, and catches him with the Elite Smash, Force Smash, and taking him to his final stock. And as I was saying right now, the first person that took that stock is going to... Oh, actually, no, because Arrow took the first stock. I was capping. But Cookie having some decent momentum from Smashville right now. Arrow struggling to kill this rat right here. It's still good DI to have 177% living on Smashville. I ain't convinced side blast ones on this level is bigger than Tom's. And the taunt from Arrow. Oh, trying to get into his head. It might work. Ooh. My man is throwing all of the hitboxes out right now. I'm trying to force him to do some overcommitment. my god, if that would have caught Cookie right there at that up B, sends him the wrong way. I I'm pretty sure he didn't want to nair that way, but we're going to take as many damages as we can. Pikachu not carrying. He can. He doesn't. That's actually interesting. Pikachu doesn't even have to air dodge or jump. But wow, a nice time back here from Arrow taking him to game three with a 2-0 lead right here. I feel like that he's, he might run it back though. It wasn't a bad game, you know. That he he had a game plan. He had an idea from what it seemed like and what he was gonna do in neutral. But then was a bit too hasty. Yeah, he's going to instantly run it back because he, he, he's confident that he definitely could have took the game right there. But Arrow being more precise with that back here. One of Bale's only moves to kill and is actually going to take him to this game three right here. Hopefully it doesn't really affect Cookie's game plan right now because that was a very close game right there. Taking him to his last stock a high percent. And Cookie <laughs> immediately running in there aggressively. Not trying to waste any momentum he had from that game. And all of that only did 20 damage. 
and that one side he did 29 and 60. Yeah. Pikachu's still top two though. Oh man, I thought he was in a nair that time. Ooh, my man said you can which time and shield. Ew, that's crazy. I thought like which time will only affect you if you're not shielding, even though you shot a projectile. That is interesting to know. And Arrow's one of those bails that doesn't really spam back here like that. That's his first miss back here when he threw it the third time, though. Wow, I'm like something else. And nice snipe from Arrow. Again, taking the first stock in every game right here. Seems to have an idea on what Cookie is looking for. And again, immediately, this is looking very similar to game two. Like, Arrow took the first stock, and then Cookie immediately shut it down. But then, I don't know. We might see another similarity again, but Cookie can make this difference right here if he continues these Nair loops successfully right now. Dealing 47%. We're going to take that. Throw some more stage. Try to get the out. Gets the DI in fair. Again, catch. Oh, he tried to be cute with the reverse up there, strings. Shout outs to Ethan. Under. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna wait it out. Oh my god, and these Tekken places are not working in his favor. Up smash. Oh, my man said I'm gonna go for style. Screw that. Oh, that's why. I, you, you see, I was kind of frying because I didn't look at his percent. Wow, and the bat within from a roll. That was insane. Arrow really showing me these bails. Cause I, I just, I, I'm only hyped because I've never seen his bail. And this man never wants to pick her against me. This is interesting to see that this is Arrow's potential when he's using his name. Oh, I, I, I kind of get the idea. He tried to delay the recovery as long as he can to probably try to force Cookie to commit to an offstage scenario. But Cookie winning right there, being very patient, staying on stage, holding it holding stage control and tries to read a tech or tech in I heard massive caps right there but we're gonna move on <laughs> Wow, what that back here hit. And here I was saying she's going to have a hard time hitting back here because Pikachu match short. But again, game three looking very similar. And to us set that, and Cookie is going to make a statement by running it back, taking it to a game four or two one scenario. Arrow still has a favor to win this set to play Salad Dressing and lose his finals. But right now he's looking like he's praying to God. Like, damn, how do I? What did I do wrong? Do I, do I run it back? Depending on if Cookie banned any stages. Yeah, he's like, wow, supposed to keep me? Man, I wish I was him. He banned out on me all the time. So Arrow gonna, he's gonna release his inner New York and running it to P2. Maybe a carrot? Nah, we're not gonna switch carrots. Nah. We're gonna run it back, Bayo Pikachu. I'm surprised he didn't take him the battlefield unless he banned it, then this is pretty much a good idea to take Pikachu. Even though Pikachu is really good at this level too. Tries to cheese him, but this is Bale we're talking about here. She has a really good recovery despite how bad she is in this game. I forgot Pikachu can do that, the, 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 the instant thunder out of disadvantage. But he calls out thunder and then he was still, the thunder hitbox was still calm, even if Pikachu gets hit himself. They used to do that, Isam used to do that in Smash 4 against um, Void Sheik and everything like that. He would get comboed a lot and very heavenly and then thunder would literally save him at disadvantage right there. So it was kind of interesting that Ultimate could still do that. Oh, and another precise back from Arrow taking the first stock yet again. Nice day. Oh, throws out quick attack at the wall on time right now. Could be looking like he definitely misinputted that move. Ooh. 
Shots to read the tech in place, but Arrow not gonna give him the bait just yet. Oh my god, Weppa gonna take him to his final stock right there with a three stock lead. And Arrow looking like he's definitely trying to get top three, maybe even win this entire encore for today. It thunder and disadvantage again, calling out the combos. He said, keep it true. Oh, and nice off smash from Cookie baiting out the aggressive side B from Arrow. Oh, yeah, he definitely wasn't satisfied with that, with that side. Definitely, he probably wanted like a, a Beaver versus Thunder because he's been doing that the entire set, and you're not going to really ever see Pikachu side B, even, even if it was ever on purpose. You're not going to really see a Pikachu do side B, unless maybe it was like a Yeet Smash clip. But anyway. Cookie looking like he's trying to, you know, trying to call out a bunch of jumps right now, and Arrow playing very... Kind of grounded more. It's like when he has a punish, he, he he's consistently staying in the air as a bail should. But in neutral, he's he's actually being very grounded. And another precise backer coming from him right there. Almost he actually read the roll right there. Man, he is low key in Cookie's head, and the jab gonna take it. Oh, and the buff jab is gonna take the set with a three-one arrow right there. You never leave. <laughs> oh man. Yo, was good. Yo, oh my god, caught me slipping. Yo, caught me slipping. I do look ratchet right now. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. But yeah, it seems to me that Arrow had a really good idea on Cookie or just Pikachu in general that whenever he did throw out back air, it was very precise and caught him like eight out of ten times. And salad dressing looking low-key prepared right now. Yeah, it, yeah, he knew better. He ain't doing random. Instant Mega Man coming out right here. Mega Man. I think we, yeah, this is P2 because I heard the Pokemon songs right now. Let's go. Finally, we're seeing some P2 starters right now being played today. Yeah. I think, like, for the rest of the day. Actually, no. I think this might be, well, like, as players. You know, I think salad dressing might be his hardest matchup for today. Because Bale would rather, I feel like she would rather play against a sortie than, excuse me, than a character with a projectile. Because, you know, they outrange her, they can camp her out, their neutral is better than hers, and they're just better at with punishing Bale. And Mega Man specifically, I see him doing very well in this matchup. In terms of everything, like in neutral, the edge guarding, like if Bale recovers wrong, he can just hard knuckle from a distance and catch her but arrow not going out without a fight right there taking he's there oh arrow is just killing it today bro taking it for everyone's first stop he is hunting for first place today Ooh. oh nice air dodge barely getting out of there shout outs to over 9k because that's what he would have done right there throwing out the up tilt but p2 Platform is being a bit too high to try to get the off tilt cancel. I don't know if he tried to go for that. Because recently I found out that Mega Man can edge cancel his up tilt if he aims it correctly. But that was a nice back here from Wop. That's interesting. He said, nah, I'm staying all the way in the air, killing all of your invincibility time right there. And right now, you know, seems like Salad Dressing kind of waking up a little bit. You know, he had a pretty rusty stock right there, but then. That backer gave him the rest of the momentum to kind of wake up right now. Arrow barely touching this stock right now. Struggling in neutral, knowing he can't really spam side B as an approach. He has to jump over the, the gear, the lemons, and everything like that. And oh my god, like how do I get out of here? <laughs> so what LB? <laughs> I'm trying to get out of this corner. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow, yeah. 
that was that was good stuff for salad dressing knowing the distance of avoiding the hard knuckle gonna take it is what i would say but i was gonna say like before that interaction right there with the good hard knuckle time he was he was very precise with his um projectile game right there calling out that arrow was gonna witch time at some type of point and he like gave the right distance to not be a part of the witch time projectile yeah, look at this right now. He's not. He's like. He's playing like mid rangey. He's not all the way far to the point where his lemons would miss completely. But he's also not really close. That um. But he's also not really close to the point where he can get caught by Jank. And good stuff with salad dressing taking game one. Pretty convincingly, actually. Yo, let's go. I do not. This is mine. I don't know who Baghdad is. And right now it seems to be that Arrow's thinking about life right now. Like he, he had a he had a really good first stock and then it was just curtains from there in that game one. Um salad dressing having game one. <laughs> Your mic on? Am I on? I'm on? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I hear you loud and clear. What's good, man? All right, what's good, my boy? So um, we're going to game two right now. Salad dressing taking game one. It was pretty convincing. Oh, he's going out the Apollo this time? Wait, okay. he picked it? Yes, he did. Oh. You know, he's got like 27 different characters, bro. Really? Yeah, yes, I know. I see he has a Chrome. I know that. But that's the only character I've seen. Oh. And then recently, I was seeing like Encore posting it up on Twitter. Him top eight, top three sometimes. I'm like, Bayo. Bayo? Bayo was one of your so characters? A little bit, a little bit of backstory. Uh, back in Smash 4, Ace would play. He played a he played Veil, and he was a really really. Uh, good yeah, player. I could tell. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I could tell he played her. His Smash Veil 4. was like max lean. <laughs> so then, uh, moving forward, Ultimate comes out. He doesn't play Veil because Veil Veil got you know partner. She doesn't carry anymore. Right. Uh, shots. <laughs> 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 so he moved on to Crom, and his Crom was really 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 solid. So yeah. he would play a lot of Crom, uh, and then you know quarantine. Got <laughs> for Lucina. Then he played Palu, and so he was he just like bouncing around. He was he bouncing found, like, around a because like he said, Crom sucks. I'm like, Crom doesn't suck. He just doesn't like. Losing, <laughs> he just doesn't okay? like being off stage. Yeah, he, he could get thrown off stage. Because I was telling people, Crom is yo. If Crom had like Roy up B, oh, Krom I would have secondary the heck Krom out of that character. I would have I would have called him so fast in my one of my serious mm -hmm. characters, but because now, of that recovery, not looking yeah. clean. So. I just don't know about him playing Palu in this matchup because Salad, this is one of Salad's best matchups. Mega Man does lose to Palu, but Salad is, but Salad so is very familiar. He's so yeah. good in this matchup. He beat, <laughs> before quarantine, he beat, he, has, he beat Jen twice. I believe it, too. Yeah, like both of them, one of them was 2 1, the other one was 2 0. Oh. And like, I was before. And I'm pretty sure, like, you know, like people, um, have like the, I'll, I'll say like shout outs to King Arc because they're like a really good Mega Man inspiration for a lot of these people yes, out there. King Arc, so, Mega so clean. I'm pretty sure a lot of Mega Mans might be scared of Apollo, but I feel like if they watch his videos and like any other top Mega Man, mm -hmm. they'll understand like how to approach it. Now, especially in New York, Palatine is very popular in this super popular in this state. I w it's not a problem anymore. It used right, to be, pandemic kind of messed up everything. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. pre-pandemic, you will see Palo to Palo back. There to were back. like seven, <laughs> seven good Palos. Bro, you, know, you had almost everyone at Zeno like throwing Palo in. There what a wild! I know Frozen, Jen, <laughs> someone else, someone else, someone else. Someone you someone had else. Jen. Yeah, Jen Frozen, kind of Phantom, I think, when Phantom. he started early. Phantom I'm, I'm unfamiliar with Phantom. He's, I'm Phantom sorry. CT, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you Connecticut, bro. But now you had Jen, you had Frozen, you had Ray. And then I don't know who else. Oh, you had Artisan. Shout out to Artisan. Free okay. Artisan. He didn't deserve it. Uh, free Artisan. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know. It's like, I still don't understand that whole situation, but it's just like, it's, it's, some, it's some BS. It's right. Free that boy. <laughs> Anyways, but wow, this my man is still he's still looking really clean in I'm this match right here. Telling you, what a forward air salad is too good in this matchup. Yeah, I feel like he was he was doing pretty good with Bale until nah, that until that stock interaction <laughs> from the last one. Oh, and yeah. I was thinking in my head like, yeah, Mega Man kind of like bodies Bale. <laughs> mm, yeah, so I don't all of those characters. And now that you mentioned that backstory, I feel like yeah, Paolo's definitely not a good idea. I right mean, now. Paolo still wins this matchup by paper-wise, yeah. Paper but he's does. very familiar, like how 
on all Apollo's answers right now. He's gonna really have to utilize his fundamentals if he's gonna actually take Apollo serious against playing against salad dressing. Because salad dressing looking like <laughs> I was gonna mention all of that. It was, I was gonna say it looked like salad dressing is calling out all of the whiff punishes that he was doing this entire set right now. Yep. He did it in game one where it's Arrow had a decent stock at the first one, yeah, and then I Arrow said, let me wake up and then realize what he had to do from his game plan from there. Mm -hmm. And what we just witnessed on Battlefield right there, even though he picked Palu, Salad is like, all right, you know, cool. I'm familiar with this. Y you win my paper, but we're going to see if you really got one like that. Let's see if you got so it. You, you got it? Cause I know I got I don't, it. I don't, yeah, I don't know if we're going to see a run back right here. Uh -huh. The Diddy, don't forget. And the Diddy come out. And Smash 4, Diddy, apparently Diddy lost to Mega Man in Smash 4 until Zero said, Oh, I'm going to just spam Rocket Barrel. Ooh, I'm just going to spam it. And then Mega Man was like, crap, I'm going to have to use my brain more and space out all of my projectiles. I don't even think Diddy lost but to it, Mega Man that hard. It yeah, it wasn't even like mega hard. It was more like a, a, a minus one for Diddy in my yeah, opinion. Not even like 0.5 because like Diddy's still like shadow on Mega Man. Yeah. And it's this game, I don't know, bro. And this game, like, I, Twig is an amazing player, but I'm trying not to be biased to let that fool me into thinking you have my paper and yeah. everything. So nah, when I'm tangled about a game, match, it's, it's, I try to be a little fair about yeah. what's <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Shory Yukin from Salad Dressing it, only taking game. less than 10% right there. Yeah, he's looking very healthy right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I called. I was like, he might go to Grands the way how he's playing in his losers yeah, run right here. Get a whole here. plate of steak and potatoes, man. This man is eating good. <laughs> oh my god, a hard knuckles. Like, yo, go ahead and jump into this class. So, mind you, uh, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of people know this now. Mega Man hard knuckle that down there, uh, mm. it's a uh, plus one on shield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty free. <laughs> so It, it just doesn't look like that because when he's in the air perfect. high, it's like, okay, it's punishable. It's, like, it's also like it's a downer. Like, how many characters land with downer and then you, you expect him to be yeah. safe afterwards? And just right there in that scenario, before that monkey flip right there, he was in, he was off stage at the right side. He did downer and immediately was fine on the platform mm -hmm. and he couldn't punish it at all it's, so just, it's just so hard you're like you can't challenge it either you parry it there and punish him or you just roll away yeah or the way because the way how i do this matchup because i'm not even trying to be funny i'm positive in the Mega Man matchup Ooh. is that you when Mega Man does down there you kind of want to call it out or like if you're in the air with you him you go to. around it you have to yeah. call it out oh what the hell I, i'm not oh, even gonna so he did rocket barrel crash yeah i think left. he kind of like he interrupted he just, it Dropped, no, he kind of just like dropped off stage. Oh my oh, god. god. Shout out to Down Smash that no Diddy Kong ever does. So here's what I don't understand. Alright, Mega Man, Mega Man not that heavy to survive that at 160. That monkey fist be doing damage. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna have some Diddy's? Nah, the sure you can out of it. Would it abusing the intangibility on startup right there. A little bit. The classic spot us in salad though. Oh, You know what's crazy? Because I'm surprised he let him go to Battlefield. I would never take Mega Man to Battlefield. Absolutely not. I always banned the stage. This is Mega Battle. Man. Is this legit his best stage? It's. So I played good. a Mega. I forgot who it was that I was playing in, in Smash Four, and I said, "To that day, I am never taking him to Battlefield." Yo, he started like, camping me out I and almost to timed me out with Rush, yeah. bro. What? And the Battlefield you makes it almost timed out. Yeah, I it's kid just you, so right? hard to play neutral versus Mega Man on. Not because it's like the because he has the platforms. That's not my only reason. But neutral with Mega Man is hard. He can. He has so many play styles on Battlefield that will throw you off. Yeah. He, if Mega Man had all of the patience, he can literally camp you out on Battlefield. Hold on. My man can throw Rush. Did he? Yo, why didn't you go Pyramithra? <laughs> Yo, or maybe, why? Or maybe Krom with a careful neutral. <laughs> I said with a careful neutral. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Sal was one of the reasons he doesn't play yeah. Krom anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, uh, me? Yeah. Let me just. <laughs> oh, bro, he's like, he's going to up it. Okay. <laughs> Give me <laughs> all of the time I need for my forward smash. Choo! Get them out that of here, That is funny. Bro. He's like, you know what? I'm dead not playing this character yeah. anymore. <laughs> and Krom goes, Krom goes dummy, too. He so does. Funny. It's just. Like I like Chrome a lot. It's just off stage. Just that recovery, <laughs> you you mess up with him off stage. That's it. Mm -hmm. You kind of just die. You kind of just drop. And that's why I was like, I would rather play with Rory because at least like I might ha I have the same neutral as him, kind of, but with a better recovery. And but even the only thing is like you get Cyrus boss, so it's like it's yeah, I get it. But we call those noodles. Like Roy, Roy gives out a lot of ramen noodles. Yes, unless he's sir. in your face right there. But. We what we are to grand finals, the predicted grand finals hey. for Smash GG, Salad Dressing and Phantom. How do you think this is gonna go? Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> I've seen Sal's corn. Sal's corn is amazing, but apparently Phantom's corn is uh built different. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> No way, the corn doodles. Yo, these two, these two are definitely homies. Like, yeah, we we oh, won too many times. We're just gonna <laughs> corn around and friends. <laughs> Probably the <laughs> sound hasn't won any of these yet. Oh, he's won them when they first started out, but uh, since yeah. since quarantine ended, nah. <laughs> I know Phantom is very consistent in Tuesdays and everything like that. So. Wins everything on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> both games. Wins like ninety five percent of the time. But he's only lost five like once. Or twice. That's it. That's the only number I remember. It's just him losing twice to ever. And then Phantom would just win every week. Yeah, that's like, yeah. kind of it. I can imagine Quid and Phantom like talking out like, yo, Quid, you take Thursdays? Man, I take Tuesdays, <laughs> alright? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him like, yo, quit. Just don't come on Tuesday. Let me shut up. Just let me shut up on Tuesday. Look at this bread on Tuesday. Oh, my God. This Ooh, is the combos mentioned? I was mentioning from Corrin. When I was watching Lemon play, I believe, Arrow, I was like, I want to see some. Because Corrin has good juggling combos. Despite, you know, people downing her and everything like that. But if Corrin it's gets like started on triplats, it's, it looks so kind of dangerous. The thing about Corrin is, like, she has really great buttons and is reliable kill power. She's just slow. Yeah. Slow as balls, man. I feel like it's, it's like a, a doggy on a crutch than faster than her. I feel like yeah, actually, her she's just really slow, and I think it's her damage too. Like her, her damage, damage output is, okay. is is not too. I great. mean, the damage output isn't that great, yes, but her kill power is ridiculous. Yeah, her kill power is ridiculous. So if she had higher damage, like this character, undeniable. It's just she's very damage. linear too, because if you know Corrin, you're gonna know what she's gonna look for. That you're gonna know too. in high percent, like oh, back here, oh. Pin. Oh, maybe up B if I'm ratchet enough. Hmm. <laughs> maybe down throw with bad DI and up throw with bad DI. If you're aware of those oh, simple that. things, it's just like, oh my god, like <laughs> you just—it's just hard for Corrin. It is because like hard. if you DI all of, if you DI and, and prepare for all of those setups, then you so, live for a while. So I while <laughs> I agree with you. Is that when Corrin gets the hit and she will get the hit, you're in disadvantage with this Corrin. Then you have to land versus Corrin. Right. And getting out of Corrin's uh, moves, who like if you air dodge one, she can frame shot you with another mm -hmm. one. It's really tough. Like the air advantage is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Like okay, I'ma just jug you, jug you. Oh, you panic air dodge? Oh, I'ma just jug you, jug. I'ma just exactly. keep doing it. Ah! Phantom just styling on Tyler Justin right yeah, there. He, Yo, he went for that there twice in a row. You know, I, I, I got a better corn, homie. Just stop. <laughs> just stop. Just put that away. Yeah, put both, that of them, away. both of them goofing around like, all right, we're, we're, we're winning anyway. You know, I got top top two. The last time <laughs> these guys goofed around like this salad <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> he thinking about life like, do I, do I really want to give him a chance to win? <laughs> if the last time they goof around and Salad dressed and won, then he thinking about it like. I mean, he won, but winners. the Phantom on the Phantom on the reset. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all it's all according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look at the Phantom face right now, like damn, like y'all sat that out loud, bro. Like <laughs> this might be true. <laughs> his eyes are expanding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Metroid reminded me of a cartoon. Metroid? <laughs> Where, what stage are we on right now, bro? playing Battlefield. <laughs> but. Yo, I never met any human being that goes to a Metroid section on one of those. It is, it is no pretty good. Knows, but I've good. never met anyone in Smash Ultimate that would go for that. Because no one, everyone sleep on Metroid music. That's really <laughs> it. I sleep on it. <laughs> I'm, I see Tekken music and I'm right. like, meow. And they're Tekken. Get Mario and Banjo? The Randy Dittos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I was about to call him Jago from his tag. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that looks so true, bro. Uh -uh. Just <laughs> right up like you bounce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Throw him off. Yo, the way how Banjo talks kind of reminds me of Goofy from the Disney. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness! The is he? Is he? Yo. Is he doing instant double jump? Shout outs to day one Mario, bro. Oh my god, I'm the same. <laughs> <Mario. laughs> huh? <laughs> yo, I felt bad, bro. Everyone, yo, every somebody in the Twitch chat on Summit had me dying. It was what like it? dark wizzy, dark wash. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I was like, what? Yo, he yo. got. <laughs> He got body day one. He got. I think he got 2 in day one. Oh, right. Day two. I don't know what happened. I don't even know what happened to him at day two. And day three, he just lost. All right, like I think loses quarters. Like, he had a bad weekend. Oh, damn, yeah, bro, he either that or he was just rusty. Cause you're right. I said, yo, I said the same. Thing. Nah, he got 2K. He bro. got 2K. 
I still got, got thousands of dollars. Yeah, that's still two thousand dollars. Oh, that's, I'm not. I'm like that's rent right, for a couple months. I'm like a, a, a round top eight. I got nine k, two k. Yeah, no, I am they got chilling, bro. Red. <laughs> Tweak made some people's salaries bro, in the you year, know, bro. You know, besides the regular bracket, you know about the side events, like the portal levels and everything like that? Yeah. You know what how much the Yeah, that was a janky forward air, bro. Yo, <laughs> speak of... <laughs> oh! Shout outs for Phantom with the homie stock right ah! there. <laughs> homie stock when he's down? Yo, he said, yo, I'm going to give you the homie stock, homie. <laughs> <laughs> But yo, speaking of the summer stuff, I'm waiting <laughs> on my summit merch that I bought. Where's all that at? Where's my merch? <laughs> I paid money to get cola. You said, in the I summit. want my mate, mate. Where? I don't even. Want, I don't even know what the heck mate, mate is. You didn't I'm hear like, about that? They I'm kept like, talking about it all merch. Yo, bro. listen. I saw about the, the ad for it. I'm like mate, mate. Isn't that a Japanese sound? Isn't that a Japanese phrase, bro? Pretty much. Mate, mate. Yeah. Like it means I'm not done yet. Mate. So mate mate, I'm not. <laughs> oh my God, is it my an energy said, drink? Oh my, yeah. No, oh, yeah. That's so mate mate for summit is an energy drink, basically. Bomb recovery? Yo, he don't got the bomb recovery. Yo, two zero to death. That's crazy. Yo, my man. Yo, sh shout outs for Phantom with these homie stops, bro. Yo, Ryan, is that mate mate stuff an energy drink? Yeah, it is. It is. It is? Okay, I figured. Yeah. That's actually. They that's said like, yo, so drink creative. it and everything like. No, but that's drink. really so creative because mate mate. That yeah. Is, like, I'm not done yet. Come on. So then you get energy drink. More. You got the second win. It's like, <laughs> give me more song? energy. What song is this? This crown? Hey, oh. yes. Kirby music, baby. Excuse me. Yo, if he actually gets Kirby, he's gone. Now watch when they get Meta Knight. All right. They got they got Fire Emblem. Oh characters. wait. Now Mario's. Wow. Wait, they both got Fire Emblem characters. Yeah, they right. both got Fire Emblems. Now Mario, uh, the I'll homie sock? Right when nah, I was about to about say it. Mario's Robin goes dummy. <laughs> right when I was about to say it goes dummy, he does that. So I take it back. His Robin kind of washed. It looking beyond washed at this point. Her clothes look like she need to go back to the laundry. I'm saying, man. Put fire. That my man doesn't even go for the second two, fire. Put that $2 back in the laundry machine, bro. My man, oh, wait. My oh man my losing gosh. to Elite Roy right now, bro. Ah, yo, he's moving Down like there? an Elite Roy. Oh, my man mistimed it, bro. My man thought he was Chrom spamming forward smash on job. <laughs> this is not Chrom. Jay Grunt looking for this Roy like GSP. Oh my god. <laughs> Salad dresser thinking about life right now as he's approaching man, this man in neutral. My man doesn't even yo, this is the most aggressive Robin I have ever seen. I just wanna say, like when you see like a high level Roy, they always look just so much faster than any other Roy. Bro, I'll be so sure that. when I see a fast Roy, I'll be like, yo, I, you played this game for a lot of, a long time. <laughs> you you like you played you like you played this game. Like you play <laughs> play this game. Mind you he has no up beat. Yeah. My man ran out of spells. <laughs> <laughs> He's just staring at me menacingly. <laughs> I'm gonna get nared. Oh my god. My man got shout outs to the wet noodles. That's what we was talking about earlier. It's like Roy has a good neutral along with the same thing as Palm, but with some ramen noodles. Oh, but that ain't no that, noodle. We get raw noodle, forward smash. That was the whole soup. That was the my soup man gave him the whole broth. <laughs> that was delicious. That's what my that man was. Roy said. That was hot. <laughs> Speaking of hot, we throwing fire in his face. Roy not caring at Fire all. electricity, both of them just can burn you. So watch out. Oh my. So and right now, Phantom be looking like he being a homie. Like I give you the first place prize, bro. I just let me just throw things out and you punish me. Ah, are you sure that's three stocks on the board? That that doesn't look very homieish to me. I, that looking kind of homie right now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He said it's not over, but uh, the way it's looking, he not landed that up there. <laughs> My man got the dagger and everything. I was capping. He actually has the weapon sword. <laughs> <laughs> that was not oh, capping. He has a dagger. Sick. Oh, he ran into the fire. <laughs> Yo, big brain plays. He knew he was going to go there. It was all calculated. Now he's on the ledge versus Roy. He put himself on the ledge. That was actually calculated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh. God. He's going to grab Oh, what a read. The dagger. And, and yeah, the dagger okay. taking the, the stop away. We yeah. got one, boys. All right, this is oh, the part where we need Salad Dressin to be careful for his spells, u spell usage and everything. Wow, what a delay. It didn't and matter. Calls him out with the air dodge in right there. Oh, my God. Her roll is atrocious. That is so slow, bro. My dog can react to that. My man, my eyes can blink twice before the roll is successful. <laughs> this is so... He really <laughs> just skirted back and forth. And my, man, my man stared at him menacingly and dashed without a dash bag, bro. <laughs> he just said, eh. He I ran it. He said, ski slide. <laughs> he, he, he had his Heelys on and just ran <laughs> to the other side of the stage. Heelys? Yo, where's Parappa? <laughs> <laughs> Parappa? 
Yo. Huh? Hell, me. What you mean you intimidated by the couch? Bro, I used to have them in my sixth grade. That's intimidating. Yo, shout out to everyone that loved Heelys, bro. My Yo, why I think why I think the commercial was as simple as I was as it was in reality. The way how the commercial portrayed it was like you have them on your heel and you can just kick and you will start riding oh, down no. the hill. Oh, Fano got Marth. Oh boy. Oh. Don't worry, it's not Lucina. He can't. He he don't get tips like that. I don't know what I mean, Fan <laughs> <laughs> I, you see, if he says he played Marth, I believe him. I believe him. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna find out how much tips he's gonna get on this table. I don't know, man. He's serving this. The way he's waiting to table, he's getting these orders in. And by these orders, I mean he's serving up a my fresh plate of daisies. My man, salad dressing is giving him the whole plate. What's gonna be on the plate, though? He gonna back it up? I knew it. Oh, I called these and back it up on him. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing the whole booty on him. Oh, he's dead. He's my, dead. My man got a whole twenty tip right there. <laughs> Remind you, he got that, his fair share. That's the symbol of a good Marth player. They, they have the space in that the dash blade. Yo, if he knew that the vegetable was gonna hit, he could have forwarded him after that. I Wait, mean, what song is this? This, goes, this, goes down. this is some um, is this a show or fire? No, this is Street Fighter. Oh, Vegas from Street Fighter. Okay, it's a remake. Yo, I was capping Chad. Do not judge me. I was, I was on. Hey, no, nah, I don't blame it though. It right, it like, sounds it very sounds similar. It sounds like a JRPG music. Like it, it sounds like Shulk stage, real quick. Oh my God. Fair. <laughs> forward and forward and forward and all you whack. You almost rarely see Marth with Max Rage. This is looking very sus right here. And lets him get away with it too. He does let him get away with it. Well, why would you do that? Yo, shout out, yo. They are just being very nice to each other right now. <laughs> They're like, I'm gonna let you get back. I, I'll let you get free. away. I won't punish you, homie. How many side pieces <laughs> are you gonna throw, bro? I'm waiting for the third one. I'm the waiting eight for eight. like a raw force bash tip right here. Oh my god, is that bad? Just F is my man, my man said, back up. <laughs> Get that ass back. My man said, back your ass out of here. <laughs> oh my Ooh. god. Alright, tipper up here. We got a tipper up like here. two more tipper up here is that the top play would be killing him right there. Oh, we can get him up side. Yo, my man that Marf that is definitely not about the booty life right now, bro. Man, Marf not an ass. You know what? He's Marf basic. He definitely looks. My mom Marf is definitely a titty man. But then again, titty guys aren't about. You thing. see how fast he got rid of those cheeks right there? He <laughs> definitely did not want that. He said, T "He said keep your H O E over there immediately." <laughs> oh, oh my God! No jump. I thought he'd go for the kick combo. I thought he was too, and then Salad Dress had predicted that was gonna happen and just gave him the air dodge away. I mean, in. Up in there. Oh yeah. my! Oh my God! He almost exploded. Yo. Phantom is definitely looking. He's definitely looking for some homie clips right now. Yes, he is. He wants. He, he said, wants "You want it. a raw four smash? I got you." Backer. Oh my god! Yeah, um, yeah, he's about to blow up. Ah! He's gonna explode. <laughs> I'm scared. I like. I'm just sat on top of it. I'm like, Yo, I feel bad for Salad Dressing right now. Ah! Oh, my man, letting him get away with the Mr. E. <laughs> oh my no! god! Oh! Yo, he went, went the other way, and you Phantom way taking went, the tournament with a free O. Yo, huh? That's sh that's sh <laughs> shake his hand. Oh my god, shake his hand he right said, now. He said, he said, "GG, shake his hand." <laughs> shake my hand. Shake my it, it worked. It went, it went Yo, away. I think I'll be triggered if somebody ever said that to me in bracket, bro. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I want to so, shake I my hand. I want to hit him with the tune like upbeat that pulls him off the ledge. I just be <laughs> like the kid, the dive, and I'm just gonna like, shake my hand. <laughs> shake my hand. Now you just have the serious face, like you, you, yo, you never play somebody that they was mad serious, yep. but it was a close set, but then they look at you like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, they know you, they know you SD, and <laughs> you know who did that to me once? <laughs> Ace did that to me once. <laughs> if I get smashed more, bro, I'm be <laughs> he stood up and put his hand down too, and I'm like, yo, yo, I, I, yo I think last week, I, what, what, what area was that? I think it was um. Probably was Cat Brothers. I was I was playing somebody right, and then they they thought they was I thought I was dead, but I di out of it somehow. And it was like yes. It sat right back down. I was like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> Killed the fray. He was like, yeah, I'd be mad too. I would just I would unplug myself and just walk. Nah, away. don't like, don't nah. ever pop off of me until the game says game. Yeah, they don't say game. Yeah, <laughs> they don't say game. Don't do it. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, but there's a difference between like you actually feel bad for someone and then like, yeah, man, that's crazy. <laughs> Don't let it be you. <laughs> Wait. Oh. <laughs> Wait, y'all didn't tell them what I said. Bro, <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, so <laughs> nah, that's the fake dab I had to do. It. That's like, yeah, I'm moving on, bro. Oh, yeah. It's my money I'm getting after nah, this, man. I'm, I'm gonna, I, man, it's like, damn, I don't want to have to do it. To <laughs> nah, you oh, know, I think I felt kid. like that at a Smash 4 GameStop event at Dykesman one time. Oh, and I had to nah. play some. 10 year old <laughs> and I was like he was like are you good in the game sir I was like I'm pretty bad bro I'm not gonna hold you and then everyone at the back was like <laughs> 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 they all gave me a serious so face like, and his mom was behind him too I'm like man I'll body a child in front of the parents I do not care nah, I bro did that. I said DK ding dong and the, and the kid was like he has those <laughs> he was like sir you're man nice in the game <laughs> <laughs> I was yo. like, I tried, man. Yo, tomorrow's Zeno. <sighs> make sure y'all go watch and hope Right, yes. Out. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If anybody was at the chat, shout out to Matty Matt for the good vibes right there. Yes, sir, shout out to um, Nintendo. If y'all know Nintendo, that's me. Please follow my Twitter. If y'all don't have me, I'll follow back. And shout out to Encore. Encore is a very, it's, Encore's a very humble and nice place. Nice vibes. That's Cap. Cap is nah. Encore is a very nice place, bro. I am it not capping nice. about that. It is nice. I love this place. I even have people from other locals that go to y'all and they be like, "Nah, Encore is where it's at, bro." I can't even lie about it. I'll be like, "Yo, mm -hmm. they're not lying, bro." Mm -hmm. Encore, it's where it's at. Tuesdays and Thursdays, join in for the smash, and you find more of us later on. Yes, sir. And with that, we gonna be out. Boom. Welcome, Maddie.